cornering. This is the, the topic of today's discussion or the episode. Welcome you all, Danny from Seabiker Studio. I was away, I was in Alpstadt. Next week I'm going to Novo Mesto World Cup XCO. Not racing yet, but I do improve my, my racing, my fitness and my technique. Today, cornering. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips, like mostly three very important tips. Uh, if, you, if you memorize those, if you implement those in your riding, you're gonna be much more fast uh, on uh, MTB marathons and also cross-country racing. So I'm showing you here the corners only from the race you saw, uh, the, 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 the latest race uh, I published. So this is the 28 kilometers uh, MTB race. It's not a cross-country race. Uh, it's a sh shorter version of a marathon. Uh, and the first advice I want to give you is, guys, realize how much time are you going to spend in the corners only throughout, throughout your uh, entire race. This race took me one hour and 17 minutes. And I'm showing here only the cornering. We are already one and a half uh, minutes uh, into it uh, and I'm gonna still continue with, with the corners. So uh, what, I've, what I'm displaying here uh, is only the corners which, um, which would force you to, to change your riding. So maybe slow down, maybe stop pedaling, uh, lean the bike, uh, brake, uh, change the lane, the line or, or so. Um, otherwise, the the corners which I would I would just go full gas are not shown here. Uh, but I'm gonna definitely show you some nice corners I did. We're gonna analyze those very shortly. Uh, and one corner uh, I didn't make very well. This wasn't the best one, you see. But the first one I really want you to to <laughs> to just have in mind on on each of your races is. Cornering is actually a lot of time. Uh, let's see, we are now two and a half minutes into it and still not uh, all corners uh, covered. So it will be it will be roughly three minutes of corners, cornering only. This is the one of the last corners and I'm going towards the finish line and then two corners just at the end. Crucial cornering for uh, sprint finish. So if you were to, to do the sprint finish, these two are crucial. So first thing, just just bear in mind, cornering takes actually a lot of time and if you haven't been focusing on it so, so far, you can cut that time by half. So this is the second corner of the race. You can already see I'm having higher speed at the entrance of the corner, but what's most important, I'm at the higher speed at the exit of the corner. So you can see behind me uh, the, the guys they are like now are showing up on the camera guys who were just ahead of me now they are behind me and they are at the lower speed. So second advice is that you should focus on uh, the speed at the exit of your corner. You can see this corner? What happened here? Nothing. Just, just cornering. Okay. But now look at the guys behind me. I'm on the left side. I'm in the middle of the corner right now. It doesn't look like I'm doing anything special, but the guys there were 10 meters behind me. Now they are still in the corner. They are 30 meters behind me at the lower speed. That means like four or five seconds on that one corner. So crucial thing. This one here. Okay, what happened here? Not much, okay, let's just uh, look at the guy on my wheel, he's like like 10 meters now, maybe less. Uh, I'm taking the corner and at the exit I'm having higher speed than him and he's losing, he's losing a lot of time. You can see him pushing but still now it's like, it's 20 meters in close, it's close to 30 meters. This is the corner I could improve. Because this one is the corner I, uh, that surprised me. I didn't know the track. So, third tip. Go from the, from the left side, like from the um, outer side, through the inside of the corner to the outer side of the corner. That means you are uh, trying to straighten the, the whole curve uh, of the corner as well as you can. Uh, but this was too high speed and so it doesn't matter how high speed is uh, when you hit the corner, it matters uh, how high the speed is when you leave the corner. 
because you have to push hard, especially on the road cycling, uh, to get up to speed if it's too low at the exit. So number one, realize how much time are you going to spend in the corners. Number two, straighten all the corners if the terrain allows you. So go from the exit, from the outer side to the inner side of the corner and then to the outer side, just like Formula One guys or, or so. Uh, if I had the right speed here, I still gained the time or like over the guy behind me, I would, I would make up even, even more. So that's it, very short, guys. How much time are you gonna spend in the races? Go from the outer to the inner to the outer side and also remember that the speed at the exit of the corner is crucial. That's it for today. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about cross country in Alpstadt. See you guys.